Writer. We are back again. Uh, let's discuss the uh, February month trade, February 2019. So let's go for it. As you can see, uh, January we had that one trade and then we were stopped out, we didn't have another trade. In February we've got our signal over here. I placed a uh, buy order from the high of that candle. My stop loss down here, my target on that level over there. As you can see, we were entered into the trade. We didn't really have a close above the 161. Let's just go and enlarge that. Right, you can see the close was just below the 161. So we couldn't lock our profits in there for the, uh, for the trade. It entered, it came back and stopped us out on the loss over there. Now, for the FTSE, that means we have had two losing trades uh, in a row uh, for the beginning of the year. Not too nice. Let's go look at the, uh, the uh, SPX. And as you can see here, uh, where was it where we were taking out of that trade? Uh, la, 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 there we were taken, gone it all the way up to here. And then we had a second trade entry. Was it over here? Let me just bring this back down. Right, oh yes, second trade entry was over here. We had a close above the 161. It came back down, right, oh. Because we had a 161, we moved the stop to break even. It came back down, stopped us out. We got another trade over here. Move that up to there, target level. Right, st place the buy stop on the high of that candle, stop loss down there. When we had a close above 161, brought the stop loss to break even. It ran up 261, brought the stop loss up to 161, and it hit the target over there. Uh, although the target, uh, let me just move this out of the way over here. Righto, the target, it hit the target on the 25th of the second, 25th of February. Right, and then there wasn't another trade to again. Uh, I must say the XPX has really delivered some very, very good trades. Now, let's go on to the recovery trade. The recovery trade is the one that works with the channel. Uh, if we get a breakout out of the Ichimoku, uh, it will trade and uh, place immediately, place the trade in the opposite direction if we hit the stop loss. So let's go and run that. And we can see where we come out with that one. Uh, right on. Okay. Let's just take this away over here. What is that there? Oh. Right on. Inputs. All the inputs are okay. Right. Just say okay. Right, oh, let's go and run this one over here now. Where are we? So you can run it from the beginning of February to the first of uh, March, right? Let's go for it. Right, here we go. As you can see, it places a trade in immediately in the diff in the uh, opposite direction. Right, let's go to the results so we can see. I think on the, uh, for the next month, I will rather pause the video and uh, just let the uh, thing run out through so we can watch all the trades. In actual fact, I think I'll pause the video now because this is becoming boring, right? Hold on, I'll be back with you as soon as it's completed its trade. Righto, I'm back here again. As you can see, in total, we are uh, at the losses. We have five consecutive losses over here. Uh, at this point of time, the last winning trade was over here, right, on the 5th of the 2nd. So, for the 5th of the 2nd, we are up to $57. But, $22 of that was in January. So, we're going to take the 57 minus the 22, it gives us a 35. So, $35 uh, dollar profit on a $500 account, that will give us about a 7% growth. Although, I would not trade uh, on a $500 account using these EAs. I prefer a $1,000 account because the, 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 the margin requirement when trading the FTSE and the uh, SP is very high. It's much higher than when you are normally trading currencies. So a guy must make provision for that to make sure that uh, you have got enough uh, funds to carry you through the uh, drawdown when you are going into uh, 
uh, like five consecutive losses in a row that you've got enough funds to pay the margin when you're doing your new trades. Now with that said, this system has delivered us what? Uh, in total, uh, what is it, 50, so about a 10%, just over a 10% growth for the two months. Not bad. I must say I like it. Not really, not bad. Let's go back, righto, and let's go and see if we're going to go on to the next one now. Right. Let's move on to the Ichimoku, uh, the Ichimoku breakout. Uh, where are we here now? Let's see, oh, okay, recovery. Oh, we are now. What's going on with my computer today? It's just not working. I don't know what's going on here. Anyhow, let's just go and make that smaller for a while. Uh, move that over there. Let's just see where we are over here. Settings, right? Let's go and close that. Uh, right, okay, let's go and close it. Let's just open it again, the uh, Traffic Chester. All right, let's try and make it a little bit bigger over here. Good. Okay, now we have got the uh, Ichimoku breakout. Uh, this is also based on the, 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 the no, no, not on the channel trade. It is based on every breakout. And again, we will be using the maximum uh, pips to play around with. And when the maximum uh, trade profit comes down to about 20 pips then we'll start adding the lots up uh, so we can uh, start getting better trades or better profit again uh, right on let's start it while we are talking and while it's running once again I'll pause the video and at the end we will discuss it right I'm back again uh, it has run through its cycle for January and February if we're going to look at the trades over here we will see for the whole month of January we did not come into the profit. In actual fact, it went quite far down. You can see up to about a 200, uh, we dropped down by 206. So that was our profit on the last trade uh, in February, which brought us up to $53 profit, which is about 11, just over 11%, uh, almost a 12% growth for the two months. So once again, it's almost, let's say, 6% per month, uh, which is not too bad. And that is also the last winning trade so far. We've got two losses over here now again. So we will run it into uh, uh, March. And uh, I'll come in and then we'll see how it goes in March. Uh, right on. Now that is the uh, Ichimoku breakout trade. Let's move on. Close that off. Let's move on. Let's just close this one off as well. Right. And we'll go to the... Right, the the uh, Bollinger Band, which is also then based on uh, trades, not on a channel. It's just based on the trades itself. Let's start it up and let's see where it will go to. Uh, okay, the Bollinger Band uh, is really, you cannot, if you look at the calculator as well, which uh, uh, if you are renting the EA, you're welcome to, con to, to contact me. I've got a spreadsheet that I use to uh, calculate my lots. Uh, and if you see the calculations, for the uh, Bollinger Band, you understand why you cannot trade it on a $500 account. Because if you start running into six or seven uh, consecutive losses and you start uh, adding up your new trades, uh, the, the, the uh, margin adds up very, very quickly. And that's why it becomes quite crucial to have at least have enough money to pay your margin. Uh, you get the margin back, so uh, it's just a security deposit to be able to do the trade. Uh, right, and with that said, I'll stop the video until it is finished and then we can discuss the results. Right, uh, back again. Uh, it has reached the end of its cycle. If we go back to all the trades over here, we can see it went up, went up, went up. We hit a winning trade over here in uh, January, which brought us up to 521, $21 profit. And if we continue, we didn't have another winning trade. Oh, yeah, came the last winning trade. Uh, brought us up to 45 which is then on the 24th of January, right? Up to $45. And then, all the way since then, uh, right uh, yeah, we've had a close, we've hit a take profit. On the 26th of February, we've hit a take profit that we back up to $54. That gives us, let's say, $54 for the two months. Uh, that's about a, also about 11, 12% growth. It's roughly about 6% a month then. Uh, <coughs> It's very good, considering that, uh, okay, the risk is high, in my opinion, uh, trading a uh, wild like that on a $500 account. 
I would rather do it on a thousand dollar account uh, as a Bollinger Band. I know, looking at it, I think at this stage it was six or seven consecutive losses in a row, which is then very uh, high and very heavy on your uh, margin. So you will be needing an account of at least a thousand dollars to be able to trade the system. So uh, although I've done it on a fifty-four dollar account over here, I personally think that you'll need more uh, to be able to go through because. If you don't have it, the, you know, to, to, to get into a problem with the margin is very easily and very fast. And it's not a good situation because if you get a margin call, you lose everything. Uh, where at least if you run through and you just get stopped out, uh, you don't lose your margin. So yes, uh, rather make sure that you have enough margin. With that said, uh, that's all February month's trades. Uh, let's hope and see that maybe next month can be a good another good month again. Thank you very much.